Good morning, everyone. Another bright, sunny day here, southeast Arizona. The birds are hanging out at the Humanure Hacienda. They're loving the uh, bird seed just because we've been putting bird seed out in our little bird feeder right there. Shout out to the Junk Project collaboration, thought up by Farmer G and Sweet Iris Farm. Great collaboration. But we're here to talk about some updates on the homestead. What's been going on? I'm almost done with putting those bolts in the posts. Then I'll be back to putting up boards again. Oh yeah, that's gonna be sweet. Let me show you what's going on over with Grace. She's finished her outdoor shower build. She's even used it a couple times. Got a little pallet entrance way here. She found some of the two by fours that have been ripped in half and she used those for a pathway out. She used her old mat outside of her trailer and used that for a little privacy screen. A little bit on the flooring there to help prevent any kind of splinters. And then it's just the uh, simple outdoor showering mechanism for the trailer. She dug out a little basin underneath that pallet at the bottom and then dug a little trench out from underneath there to the gray water basin. I don't think the plastic really needs to be there and in fact at this point it might be a hindrance and I think she can just fill that with gravel to help that keep its shape and the water will just flow right through there. So it's almost 100%, not quite, just the plastic needs to come out, maybe some more gravel in there, but that's just about ready to go. So now we're gonna show you some other updates around the homestead that we've been filming. Uh, some of these clips might be from different times, so it might be a little odd, but we hope you enjoy what you see. All right, we're about to make an evening trip to get some last few supplies, but I wanna show this. If you remember way back when, we got a little something in the mail from Red Hot Fiat. I attached it. I got a new battery, and then I figured it was a perfect time to attach it in there. And it's just this little negative cutoff switch. And we're hoping this extends the life of the batteries because something in here is draining it. So it's as simple as uh, just tightening it, and uh, you can see right there that little light. Battery is on. Let's roll. Like this is my new home. Of the solar clothes dryer. 
Are you playing games over there? No. I'm trying to get you in focus. There's no time for plants versus zombies. All right, so we got a little package in the mail the other day. Mail call! <laughs> but uh, this wasn't from any kind of viewers. This is something we ordered. So we needed an attachment for the IBC toad in order to get water from it because it just has that big nozzle. I'll take you over there. I'll show you. All right, so it just basically has this one big lever and it's basically made for hoses. You attach a hose to there, you open it up and you let it flow. We had a 50-50 shot of getting this attachment right. We're about to find out <laughs> if we got the right attachment. Okay, moment of truth. Looks like it works to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that comes squirting out. Nice. Zang. We picked the right one. Alrighty, well, thanks a lot for joining us today. Really appreciate you stopping by, checking out what's been going on, and the little updates that's been going on around here. It's just some of the littler things that's been going on in between some of the bigger things. All right, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We'd love to have you around. Leave a comment down below. Let us know you stopped by. We appreciate it, we love it. Share it with a friend or two because they like outdoor showers too. And don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, we'll catch you in the next video, everyone.